Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, yeah, let's hear from you. Um, during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point when you already. Oh. At what point? When you've already been dating for four or five months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, uh, to, to give you a quick answer on firstly, I think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with. Who, when you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> I know, I mean, that's what I told them, you know, I'm sorry. But, I say, I'm, you da I'm dating, we're dating. You but know, here's the gentleman here. You're here, okay. To pay. He's supposed to pay. Yeah, that's you're what I told him. I, But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> whenever Walt wants where, right? where, where, But what's the, where does this double standard come from? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the reality. You guys can, you, can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to fucking pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? But I, I look, I, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would... I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1,500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go, and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is, right? Or if you both agree to go on holiday, and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's when he feels used. Because any guy who's really confident and self-respecting if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being taken advantage of. And it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lack of gesture. So I would be looking at, if you like this guy, maybe you, if you're in different positions, figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend.